Welcome back to Waza Day. Where I was today is Jawbreaker. 1981 release uh, running here on an Apple II in MAME by Online Systems and Olaf Lubeck. Uh, I'm going to press J for joystick. And uh, now we just uh, got to wait for it to load here. Surprisingly long loading time there. Oh, for Jawbreaker. Oh. Okay, I think this is in demo mode right now. Okay. Yeah, so this is a Jawbreaker. A uh, completely original game for the Apple II. Uh, that definitely wasn't knocking anything else off. But no, it's a Pac-Man clone, obviously. Okay. Anyway, let's hit uh, space, I think, to get into it. Uh, yeah, we're using joystick controls here. On the arrow keys. Oh wow, the, the ghosts can turn sideways, that's interesting. Or disturbing, depending. Uh, maybe it's just that orange ghost. Maybe the ghosts have different behaviors. No, they, they have different behaviors, okay. That's a little twist, but I don't know what it really does for you. I feel like, you know, Pac-Man clones are better than others. This one has a certain feel to it that is not uh, not particularly satisfying to me right now. But uh, maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll warm up to it. Let's find out. I did see you know when I was trying this up. There's a there's a Jawbreaker too as well. So I'm not sure how that uh, innovates on the formula here. Oh, that wasn't good. I guess the uh, candy is coming out of those bins, so you can tell, you know, what the piece is going to be if you uh, care about that. Let's see what the game over is. That's it. Back into the demo mode. All right, space again to start it up. I don't know. Uh, ever since I saw uh, Jeff Gersman play an MSX Pac-Man clone, uh, maybe you're familiar with it, uh, but it's called Oh Shit. Uh, <laughs> but ever since I saw that Pac-Man clone, uh, uh, it's kind of like the the new standard to live up to. Uh, if you look up the Wikipedia page for it, uh, somebody has very, very graciously uploaded the audio the relevant audio sample there as well but you can also watch uh you know Jeff Gersman's video on it it's on the MSX uh if you search for that you should probably be able to find it but yeah it's a treat I feel like was that this is this is sort of Similar to uh, the Pac-Man layout in some ways, but not others. So, but also like you can get hung up on level features here that are not fairly uh, obvious. You get one little beep tick there. Tell <laughs> you the time is about to run out. I think I did actually play a lot of Pac-Man on my Apple II, but I think it was whatever the officially licensed version was. Amazingly enough. Oh, you gotta you gotta brush your teeth here on Jawbreaker because you're eating all the candy. So here's level two. Let's see what level two is like. Is the go it seems like the ghosts are maybe a little more aggressive. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Or they're probably not ghosts in this game, but uh, you know, using that as a shorthand because monsters, I don't know. What are they what are they supposed to be in this game? Who knows? Smiley faces. The people that can they makes the see, I don't know. The candy can't hear.
yeah, like that level feature there where you get to go, where if you go down the right spot, you get hung up. I don't really like that. I don't know. Like, let's see here. Let's see if I can, uh, well, not die first. Probably not the best way to do it. But. So, if, like, if I go down here, I think I'll stop. Yeah, like, that's not, you would think that it'd be a clean shot. Uh, and then also here, if I go up, stop. So, yeah, it's a little bit weird there for me. Don't particularly care for it. But it's kind of the uh, thin walls, thin dots. I, I, I'm not really a fan of of this particular uh, Pac-Man flow. Not really uh, bringing anything new to the table for me, and it's adding some things that I don't like. So when you're when you're dealing with you know something as straightforward as Pac-Man, those things matter. Maybe I'll try to take this seriously for a second here. Let's get back into uh, another round here. So the ghost patterns, so I don't know if they're just randomized or what the ghost logic is, but it seems like it's random, which is not not a satisfying ghost logic. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's an easy to implement ghost logic. It's just not a satisfying one for the player. I don't think the original Pac-Man ghosts are completely random. Uh, gives them some personality, you know. All right, maybe we'll do one more. One more here. Get out of the demo. Chasing the ghost. Okay. I feel like also the starting direction is not, uh, I don't know if there's any predictability to it or not. Maybe yeah, I missed some there. Seems like all the ghosts are where I need to go. <laughs> Also, seem to tend to leave like one dot, and I think I've got it based on the graphics. Oh, well, at least we'll see level two again here. I'm not sure if we're gonna have another high score. Maybe we won't see level two. <laughs> Never mind. Not that there's um, that much compelling about it. We do get to brush our teeth again. Probably good. Sometimes I'll start the level out going up. Sometimes I'll start the level out going down. I'm not touching the keys beforehand, so I don't know if it's using your last um, your last direction or something. But yeah. Got me on the other side. All 
All right, I think that's going to do it uh, here for us with uh, Jawbreaker on Waza Day, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.